same type of stuff that goes into your Brita filter. Uh, pretty much does the same thing, kind of scrubs the air as it goes through. Uh, this is the air that you breathe, not for the engine. Uh, obviously it's just like a filter that you have in your uh, heating and air conditioning at home. And uh, you know, you should change, change them out periodically. Uh, it just depends on how dirty your environment is. I can't really tell you a number of miles, uh, how long they should last, because it depends on how dusty your environment is and how much pollen you have. And if you have allergies, things of that nature. Uh, but you should probably check them every six months. Um, we usually check them, as long as they're easily accessible, we'll check them uh, at no charge. Uh, when the cars are coming in for service, and we'll just pop right in. Just tuck it in there. Put it back in here. And that's done. Voila. This particular car has two cabin filters, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side. You can see this here. You can just repeat the same step for the same cabin filter over on that side. So we're going to toss this cabin filter in the trash. Now this particular car has two cabin filters. One to filter in the air that's coming in from the outside, and the other one is for the air that is recirculated in the car. What a lot of folks don't know is that there's actually another filter, which is this filter, for that. And what ends up happening is it gets clogged when you hit recirculate, and the airflow is terrible. Uh, this one's a lot harder to get to. Uh, it takes a little bit more time to get to, which is why nobody really ever checks it. Uh, we have experienced a situation where a customer had very poor airflow on recirculated air, but you can hear the fan running. So normally, you're supposed to have better airflow when it's recirculated because there's less resistance. Um, but what we found is, through discovery, is that the cabin filter for the, for the recirculated air was completely clogged. And you come on over here, it's, it's tucked in underneath the dash up in here. It's a little bit more work to get involved to get to it, but on this car you can see we took it out already. That's the old cabin filter. That's the new cabin filter. Now this one is not carbon or charcoal activated. Um, it's just a standard filter. Uh, the part's not very expensive, um, but it's just a bit more labor to get to. But you know, this customer is going to be able to uh, breathe a lot better um, and see much better airflow, uh, especially when it's hot in the summertime and you're trying to cool down the car. You want as much air flowing through as you can. And that is going to restrict his airflow, but since we put a new one, it's going to get a lot better. Uh, if you don't have any questions, thank you so much. Leave a message in the bottom there, and uh, leave some notes. Have a great one, guys. Thanks.